Okay, so today we're going to be um, starting chapter 9, um, and we're going to be doing lesson 1, and we're going to be learning how to um, use models to add like fractions, okay? So let's go over this. So a unit fraction has a, numer a numerator of 1. It is one of the equal parts of the whole. Fractions that have the same denominators are called like fractions. You can use models to add like fractions, okay? So a unit fraction is just one part of the whole. We're going to build something here. Abigail is playing a board game with her friends. There are five game pieces. So that is total pieces, so that will be our denominator. There is a red piece a blue piece, a yellow piece, a green piece, and a purple piece. So there are, each one of those is one, so there are five. What is the total fraction of the pieces that are yellow, green, or purple? Okay. Um, each one of the colors was one, but that we, they, don't, they only want us to write down which ones were yellow, green, or purple. So we have to find one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. So each one of these is a unit fraction. They're going to show you an example here. This is the yellow game piece, this is the green game piece, and this is the purple game piece. Each game piece represents a unit fraction. A unit is just one part. We're going to go ahead and add the like fractions. Remember these are like fractions because the denominator is the same. There are three one-fifth fraction tiles all together. So one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth equals three-fifths. Three-fifths is the sum or the answer of three unit fractions of one-fifth. So the total fraction of game pieces that are yellow, green, or purple is three-fifths. Right there. Okay. The next one we're going to do, we'll look at here, it says, now not all fractions are unit fractions. You can decompose or break down a fraction into a sum of unit fractions. So, these are not unit fractions because unit fractions are just one part. So, but we're going we're gonna to break these down. First, we're going to do the 3 eighths. We're going to model 3 eighths into, we're going to break it down into the unit fraction. So, this is 3 eighths because 1 eighth, 1 eighth, and 1 eighth is 3 eighths. So, we're just kind of working backwards here. Now, we're going to model 2 eighths. So, we've already done the 3 eighths. So, now, doing this 2 eighths. So, the 2 eighths is 1 eighth and 1 eighth. And as you can see, here's the 3 eighths and the 2 eighths. Okay? Now we're going to add these together. Count the total number of 1 eighth tiles. Those are the unit fractions. Notice that the parts being joined are part of the same whole and each unit fraction is the same size because they're, they're equal fractions. There are how many 1 eighth tiles? There are 1 two, three, four, five. So there are five one-eighth tiles. So three-eighths plus two-eighths equals five-eighths. Now remember, when we're adding fractions, we are only adding the numerators. We are not adding the denominators. The denominator stays the same because that is the whole, okay? That is all of the total parts we only add together the numerator. So let's look at this. Talk about it. Mathematical practice. Identify structure. The fraction 5 eighths can be considered as the sum, because that is the answer, of 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. It can also be considered as the sum of 3 eighths plus 2 eighths. Write two other ways to think of the to think of 5 eighths as a sum. 
okay? So, wow, so we already have three, um, three eighths plus two eighths, so we basically just have to think of another way that we could add and get five. So, I, we could do four eighths plus one eighth, and that would still be five eighths. Okay, now you think of another one.